Hello and welcome back to Rockstar Shopper. We are going to be checking out Urban Outfitters in the hip and cool Northampton, Massachusetts. Let's go see what's cool. So they're a really zen place. They're they're an interesting store. They're actually owned, Urban Outfitters actually owns Free People and Anthropology brands. So you're gonna see a lot of the same stuff across all three stores, but at different price points. And I would say their Urban Outfitters is probably their lowest price point. But yeah, so I'm checking out all these candles. Hippies always welcome. Sure they are. Hippies are cool. I call these kind of candles like votive, uh, they're like a, a prayer candle shape. You see them all the time. They're supposed to be the safest to burn. Anyway, they had these really cool plant sprayers, plant misters actually, I think. This was a very good quality. You're going to pay for it. It was $14, but the glass was super thick. The mechanism was super heavy. It, I think it would actually spray <laughs> properly. They had some really groovy planters. They were printed really light though. I mean, you can see it doesn't even translate well coming through here. You can barely see the printing inside, so I don't really recommend because it was printed so lightly. The plant sprayers they had in a gold and kind of a like a burnished silver and they had an amber glass one in the back which was catching my eye. But in the meantime, this celestial candle, I loved it. I love the black wax and the silver design that definitely caught my eye those hands were cool I would display rings on those they did have zodiac journals too they didn't have my sign but they had a lot of different zodiac journals you can see me testing it I would definitely recommend that it was pretty heavy This take it easy sign right here, I have seen this in the background of Carrie Dayton's vlogs. I'll link her channel below. She's a super cool YouTube creator I have followed for years. She lives in California. She's super cool. Anywho, these mugs were kind of, I mean, they were expensive. They were expensive. That was 14, I think. 16. Yeah, $16. But they had some really cool ones with some cool sayings. Yeah, this anxiety one. That would have been really cool to have on my desk in my corporate life. I probably would have got fired, but it would have been very appropriate for those days. And then they had all these different, I would totally buy all of these and hang them on a mug rack because they were so freaking cute, right? Soy, almond, no, and oat milks. Super cute. I love that. And then I, I guess I went over, I didn't realize it at first, but this was their clearance area, so... I took a cruise, see what they had, checked it out. This Britney book made me smile. It's Britney. <laughs> 50 reasons why she's our forever queen. Yep, so randomly, here's double denim. Of course, <laughs> who wore double denim? Anyway, they had this really cool record store corner. 
They were trying to, I think, recreate the feeling of being in a record store, something we were in all the time in my generation, but they had these turntables, they had cassette players. We used to have cassettes in our car, hilarious, right? And karaoke microphone. It was a real blast from the past and a lot of albums. But anyway, it made me feel like they were really trying to create that cool vibe. Remember Pretty in Pink, Annie Potts? She owned a record store. One more tune, then it's off to enjoy a terrible relationship. Furrier next door loves this. Awkward. They all smoke so gentle, yeah. Yeah, that kind of vibe, remember? Yeah, I, I loved record stores. I'm a huge music fan. I'm a musician myself, and yeah, this was really an interesting spot in the store, of course. Good Girl Gone Bad Rian, and she's my queen. I love her. Love her music, everything about her. But so, yeah, her fashion, actually, especially. But yeah, that was the vibe they were trying to create here. I mean, they did a pretty good job of it. If you've really lived the real thing, it didn't even come close, but for those of you who are super young, this was a taste of what the vibe used to be when you go into a record store, and oh boy, Midnight's, she's touring now, woo wee, I'm seeing little clips of that on YouTube everywhere, it looks amazing, it looks really amazing. So here's another little display, more candles. They were cute. They were branded really interesting with little themes. They were cute. They all smelled amazing. I will say that. They were very uh, strong scented candles. So you were getting your money's worth. So their perfume selection was pretty extensive and pretty amazing, actually. They're, they tended to be more kind of single noted. They weren't complicated. I didn't really find too many high-end dupes, although I do find a couple, so keep watching for those. But that smelled amazing. That was summer in a bottle. That was gorgeous. That was really gorgeous. But they had plenty of testers, so you could check out... Um, how they smelled they had matching candles so if you found one you really liked you could pick up that's one of the dupes that Santel Supreme it smells like another 13 uh, from a, mm, is that Barreto I don't know I don't I don't remember the manufacturer but that was a dupe for sure and then they had a few different bottle shapes I don't know what the difference was maybe these were perfume and the other ones were cologne or something like that but anyway yeah, so these were very single noted. So they weren't complicated. They were very straightforward. That one smelled delicious. I remember that. This cherry one was so summery. It was so bright and yeah, it was it made your mouth water. It was delicious. <laughs> that one was also. I like that one. I liked this one, this oud one. I'm a big fan of oud. So if you like deeper, spicier scents, um, very fruity one again it smelled just like summer it was so cool very green this one had a very organic green note to it straight up rose on that one yeah it was, I love looking at so much perfume perfume there's that another 13 dupe so that Santel Supreme that's what it smells like to me I have the real thing and it smells a lot like that this is like a white flower mix very flower bomb smelling if you have that perfume. Oop, 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 oop. I made a lot of noise there. Yeah, everybody started looking at me then. Mm, I hate when that happens. This one definitely smelled like an apple teeny. It was super delicious. 
and this one smelled like matcha i mean they were very like i said single note and very cool okay so we have to check out the jewelry i'm on my way out of the store so i figured i'd end with some accessories and yeah they had some really cool pieces and a lot of different geometric shapes actually i was just watching another one of my favorite youtubers Susie roberts she's from canada she's another super body positivity content creator i love her channel and she literally just purchased this pair of earrings right here she showed it on her last her most recent vlog i love you Susie. um i'll link her channel below you can check her out as well she's a great fashion content creator I love these like stone agate necklaces. They're so different, they're so cool, they're so organic. Yeah, they're like one of a kind, they're gorgeous. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And comment below where you want me to go shopping next. I mean, would you be interested in stuff that's not like major retailers, like maybe a tour of different towns and cities in the New England area with the shops or do you want to see a specific retailer let me know but anyway thank you so much for watching please subscribe and we'll see you real soon